Now, why in hell is this programming language is loved more than me? Like, I get it, nobody loves me, but a programming language? I'm so offended right now. My goal till the end of this video is to find out myself, does Rust worth it or not? And will it help you and me get a girlfriend? Now, the first thing I did was install Rust, and trust me, it took over 15 minutes to be installed. I miss JavaScript already. But let's talk Rust, shall we? Rust is a system programming language that aims to provide memory safety, concurrency, and performance. It has been praised for its innovative features such as ownership, borrowing, lifetime, traits, macros, and helping people get big. It has also been adopted by many companies and projects such as Mozilla, Dropbox, Cloudflare, Microsoft, and Amazon. Hold on, so it's just some slug. However, Rust is not a perfect language and it has some disadvantages that might make you reconsider using it in 2023. And obviously, Rust is not one of those languages where you find a five minutes tutorial and the next five minutes you're in an interview with Google. Of course, I'm talking about a very steep learning curve. Rust is absolutely hard to learn, especially for beginners or developers coming from other languages such as Python. Rust has a lot of concepts and rules that you need to understand and follow, such as ownership, borrowing, lifetimes, error handling, generic traits, etc. Rust also has a strict compiler that will reject your code if it does not comply with the rules. It's the exact same reason why your parents kicked you out. This can be frustrating and time consuming for many developers. Anyways, Rust just got installed, so let's try to write a hello world program. Now, apparently, we need a main function which honestly looks familiar, and then the print hill which also looks familiar. Wait, where's the run button? The f is that? Okay, so apparently compiling Rust is a gigantic pain in the ass. You have to open the terminal and write Rust C followed by the name of your file, main.rs. And by now you should have two more files and the one who has the treasure is actually the .exe file. Now, to run the code, you have to write dot slash main.exe. Now you can see the results of your actions. Now the next problem in Rust is related to the limited ecosystem. Rust is still a relatively young language and its ecosystem is not as mature or rich as other languages. There are still some errors areas where Rust lacks libraries or tools, such as GUI development, web development, machine learning, etc. Some of the existing libraries are still experimental or unstable and may not have enough documentation or support. Also, Rust is known for having a slow compilation time compared to other languages. This can affect your productivity and workflow, especially if you're working on a large or complex project. Rust's compilation time sucks due to its sophisticated type system and borrow checker that perform many checks and optimizations at compile time. Also, when using Rust, you gotta keep in mind the risk of memory leaks. Rust claimed to provide memory safety without garbage collection by using the ownership and borrowing systems. However, this does not mean that Rust is immune to memory leaks. Rust still allows you to use unsafe code blocks where you can bypass the compiler's checks and do manual memory management. This can introduce memory leaks if you are not careful or experienced enough. Rust also has some features that can cause leaks such as reference counting, lazy statics, global variables, etc. So these are some reasons why Rust may not be the best choice in 2023. Of course, this does not mean that Rust is a bad language or that you should never use it. Like you've never got a girlfriend, but that doesn't mean you won't find someone. Well, I think that was a bad example because I don't think you will. The Rust has many advantages and use causes where it shines, such as low level systems programming, embedded programming, game development, etc. Rust is also constantly evolving and improving thanks to its active and passionate community. The point of this video is to show you that there is no perfect language and that Every language has its pros and cons, except JavaScript. That motherfucker doesn't have cons. At the end, it depends on the context and the problem you're trying to solve. Except your love life, because it will never be fixed. Anyways, don't forget to check out my mentorship program if you want me to be your personal private mentor. And yes, I made fun of Java in this video right here. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you up in the next one.